Hey, I'm CNET's Ryan Chris, and I'm here with the Frigidaire Gallery FGHC2331PF. Now this is a counter depth side by side refrigerator and counter depth means that it isn't quite as deep. It's not going to stick out beyond your cabinets. That gives it a more streamlined and flush appearance that a lot of homeowners like, but you also have a little less interior space. The grand total is 22.2 cubic feet, 14.2 of which are allocated to the fridge. That's not great by standard side-by-side -side metrics, but compared to other counter depth models, it's pretty par for the course. Now, what isn't par for the course is the price tag. At $1,600, this fridge is about as inexpensive as counter depth models get, so if you're looking for that flush appearance in your kitchen, this might be where you start your hunt. However, I don't think that this fridge is a very good performer. If you take a look at this heat map, you see all those orange regions. Eight out of the 11 total regions we tested in the fridge came in above 40 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the temperature where you start to see listeria and meat and other bacteria you don't want. Even cranking the fridge down to 33 degrees at the minimum setting, we still have an orange hotspot there in the main body of the fridge up at the top. That's just not a good result, not an acceptable result, frankly. The features of this fridge leave a lot to be desired as well. You see that it's kind of a bare bones interior. You do get this chill drawer here that has a vent in the back with cold air piping directly into it. You can adjust it with that slider and crank it a few degrees up or a few degrees down, but it's not precise, doesn't give you a number. And again, the fridge is so inaccurate to begin with that this doesn't make a whole lot of difference. There's also this shelf here in the middle that slides out to give you easier access to items in the back of the fridge. I like that feature, but there's just too much friction here. It's kind of hard to use. It sticks as you use it, especially if anything heavy is sitting on top. All in all, the price is pretty enticing here if you want a counter depth model. This is one of only a handful you can get for less than 2000 But like I said, the performance is just not up to snuff, so I'd probably pass and spend my money on something else. For more, check out my full review at CNET.com and field your fridge questions my way on Twitter. For CNET Appliances, I'm Ryan Christ. <laughs>